Hi, welcome to Street Talk. I'm Loretta Rose. Today we're on location in Phoenix City. It is a celebration, a community celebration. It is the Soul on the Hike community celebration. We are here and we're going to take you inside to see what's happening. This is going to be lovely. You're going to see city officials, community leaders. You're going to see a family affair taking place. It's going to be almost like a community tailgate. Stay tuned. You're watching here on Bean TV. pleasure. First of all, Councilman Day, I did not know Phoenix City had this much land. Driving back here, I said, I am from Phoenix City, born and raised, but did not know this much was in Phoenix City. Help us to know the district we're at. Well, we are in district, we're part of District 3 here, which I represent. And I, as I said before, this area over here is very familiar. I remember back in the day, during my younger days, I used to come up and visit uh, this whole area. This is a community within a community by itself. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, the county uh, have a portion of Brickyard as well. But Phoenix City has the majority of this property here. And one of the things I say to everybody, you might not be aware of it, but Phoenix City, uh, uh, Russell County is the largest county in, in one of the state of Alabama. Uh, land-wise, Lawrence and Lee County land-wise, a lot of people are not aware wow. of that. But when I come over here, I'm running to my classmate that I went to school with. I remember we played football right down the street here at Malati High School. We had to come over here and uh, drop these kids off here. And I was talking earlier to some of my classmates. We were reminiscing back, you know, back in the day when we used to come to uh, the, uh, the prayer place right there when it was showing up, having a good time. And I remember uh, Brickyard have their own uh, baseball team over here, wow. and uh, they are well known throughout this community here. Wow, this, I, I believe, it sounds like the spot where we're at is a historical spot. Well, I would say a historical spot because as I, I remember when I first left Pearkin here school, went to Mount Ollie High School, I heard a lot about Brickyard. Brickyard, as I stated, it's a lot of young folks grew up in this area here and moved away. And you have some of the uh, pro athletes came out of Brickyard, wow. you know, and uh, they are blessed to have uh, folks like that. I'm not going to start naming some names because I'll leave some out. And one of the things that these, some of my classmates went, lived over here, I met uh, one called Waddell Shatwood. He's a minister down in Florida. Okay. I remember when he came home, and preached at Bethel over here at AME. All the classmates, guests, and came to his, his, uh, his, his, his ceremony and when you were preaching over there. We had such a good time. We had taken the time to remember back. And I remember back in the day when I was playing football, uh, I was right tired. They, they, the they used to call me sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, we had a good time back in those days. And uh, Brickyard was one of the places that you had a good time on. Wow. Like on a Saturday afternoon, you come over here, drive through this community, there's always something we're going on over here. I love it, I love it. Wow, this is so wonderful. And for those of you that have never heard of the hike, 
I mean, because I'm being educated as well, just like Councilman Day said, it's a community within a community. That is now, true. you're here on a mission as well, along with supporting this wonderful community affair. From my understanding, you're going to be giving out a proclamation or something? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm planning to uh, present a proclamation to these uh, to the young lady uh, by the name of Phyllis. Everybody okay. knows Phyllis. And Phyllis has done a, a lot of work in getting this project together. Uh, I think she headed the project. She called me. Uh, uh, last week and asked me to do this. I said, Phyllis, I'll be more than happy to do it. Wow. I know if nobody else was unable to make it, I'd be more than happy because this is a portion of my district here. Mm. And I have a very honor to be asked to do awesome. that. Awesome. Well, we appreciate your service and you're always so wonderful with sharing with us in the community here at Beam TV. And we want to thank you and the entire city council members for your service and all that you do behind the scenes. Thank you. My pleasure. Awesome. You're watching here on Name TV. All right. At the Soul of the Hike with the facilitator, Miss <laughs> Phyllis Preer herself. Hello, beautiful lady. Hi, gorgeous. <laughs> you know what? It, this is beautiful. Yes, it is. But I anything concur. you are a part of, don't make me cry, love Loretta. Is there. Unity and strength, because that's what you represent. Yes. Now, Help the community to understand how did this come about? My family, friend in the Tri-City area community. It came about because of my sincere love for my family, friends in our community. So much death so much pain, so much hurting, so many, so many, the Corvette, the families, yes. the young men, children dying too soon. It was so impacting to me, my heart could not stand anymore. I cried out to Father God. And he answered me, if you care so much, this is what I want you to do. And I politely said, I don't want to deal with those people. I don't want to deal with people. I don't want to deal with people. Therefore, he confirmed and confirmed and confirmed till I surrendered and I took it on. He said to me, just do it. And I will do it. He'll supply, you just do what he said do. That's right, mm. absolutely. Wow. And he began, as, as time progressed, progressed, he counseled me, he spoke to me, he gave me the, the, the vision, he spoke to me, he said, the soul of the hype, because that's where we need to be and come back to okay. who we were created to be. And then he gave me a subtitle, the soul of the height, coming home, C-O-M-I-N, property, home, just as clear. Wow, coming home. Coming home. Okay, you bringing it home now, which you share with the community. Yes. For those that are watching, help them to understand the height. What's significant about the height? The significance of the height in category is not just the large hill, but we never surrender to the Lord. We always reach for the height. And by us being Southerners, instead of <laughs> height, we call it hike. Okay. And that came from our forefathers. Wow. And we yet, anyone hears the name, the height, they got to know, they got to know. They got to know it's the absolute truth. Wow. I'm looking, as we're interviewing, across from us, it's a Prier's Place. Yes. Tell us about the history of Prier's Place. The history of Prier Place began, the innovative stage came from my great-grandfather, Henry Prier. And he brought on my grandfather, Johnny Preer. 
And Johnny Prier proceeded and he turned it into the place to be. Back in the day, right now we have K92.7. Back then we had WOKS. Oh, yes. Hapsome, Spinny Witty. Wow. The Deuce, How, and so many other legendary wow. DJs. So much history. Because yes. back then, WOKS was David's Broadcast. And David's Broadcast with K92.7. Yes. Wayne Hales out here. So the history is still living. Constant. The legacy is still growing. Yes. It's still there. The soul. It's in the soul. It's in the soul. You can't get away from it. Okay. You can't get away from oh, the soul. Wow, 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 wow. That's it. Wow. I love it. I love it. Now you're seeing generations. Yes. Which is beautiful. Yes. And again, I love it because we have a, a many people here, but many more are coming. Yes. And it's like a family affair. It's it almost is. like a community tailgate. Yes. That is about to take place here. Absolutely. Now, before we let you go, you are going to be receiving a proclamation, I heard. And I want to say congratulations in advance. Thank you, gorgeous. And so thank I, you. I thank you for your service. What many don't know is that you always serving in the community. Yes. And I love the fact how you brought us together and brought your community together. Yes. To be on one accord in love, unity, and strength. Absolutely. And it's, of course, all free. All Absolutely. You have to do is show up. Absolutely. It's when I tell them, I say, it's an invitation, mm. not an inquiry. When people receive invitation, they think they have to bring something. But an invitation is the essence of, I honor and respect you. I want to give you something. Wow. So an invitation is for you to come and receive and to be wow. blessed because you've been chosen few. Wow. Well, thank you. Thank You're you welcome. for sharing. Thank you. And congratulations again. I love it. So. Would you like to say to your supporters and those that have come out, would you like to? Absolutely. I am so divinely grateful to everyone that has shared with me the outpouring from the city of Phoenix City, Mayor Lowe, City Manager Wallace Hunter. Councilman Arthur Day, Sheriff Chief William Alexander, and my cousin, my family, Kenneth Alexander, he just took the ram and just went with it and never left me. He built the platform just, they cleaned off this whole area. It was wooded. Beautiful. They cleaned it off. Beautiful. And it hadn't been done since we were little kids. Wow. So, I thank each and every one that shared whatever way. And a special thanks to Kiara Robertson. She's my artist. She is brilliant, just such a gifted young lady. Beautiful. And my sister, Pama Prier. I just thank all of you. I don't want to call all names, but I placed them in the program. I am so forever and gratitude. Awesome. God bless you all. Awesome. Well, you heard it here. You're watching Street Talk. You're watching here on Bean TV. We'll be back with more. I'm very, very honored to be asked to present a proclamation here over here to soul up the hike. Soul up the hike. And one of the things that uh, I'm also honored to represent the soul of the hike on the city council here in Phoenix City. Uh, as you know, this is the part of District 3, and I represent 13,000 in District of Phoenix City, 13,000 plus. But this right here is such a beautiful gathering for those folks that lived in this area a while back, and I call it coming home celebration. Yes. And everything looks so beautiful over here. Folks are getting together and barbecuing and have different uh, food and different venues over here, her thing for the kids. And I understand this is the first of its kind here in Soul of the Height. So it's very, I'm honored to present this proclamation 
to, these, to this community over here, Soul of the Height. Now, let me share this before I present this proclamation. As of today, I was told to be here at 12 o'clock noon, and I was rushing down here and forgot my glasses. Uh, but I'm going to do what I can. Like Cliff Raleigh said, he's zoned in on it. <laughs> so I'm going to try to zone in on it and read this. Yeah. So uh, if I make a mistake, don't nobody. Uh, <laughs> okay, this proclamation presented, Office of the Mayor, Phoenix City, Alabama, proclamation. Whereas, to honor the origin and line of the permanent family of the hike of Brickyard, we have gathered for coming home celebration. And whereas, the family include Priya, Alexander, Hopper, Abercrombie, Williams, Woods, Jackson, Miles, Perry, Reed, King, Golden, Lewis, Spirey, Jenkins, James, Lyles, Cotton, Tarver, Fleming, Gauthier, Echoes, Ibn, and Chadwick. Woo! And where's, and where's the family will be reunited to the special place of that shape their value and where they learn that it takes a village to raise a family and a growing community. And where's, by divining inspiration, Phyllis F. Priya answered the call to preserve the rich legacy of the Brickyard area. And where's, the reuniting of the flame of the brotherhood, sisterhood, amongst the family of the height and Tri-City area so that future generations will not forget their heritage and will embrace one another in unity, faith, hope, and love. And whereas the city of Phoenix City believe that the soul of the height coming home celebration will be an unforgettable, extraordinary, and blessing event that will serve a memorial for the family. Now, therefore, I, Eddie N. Lowe, as the mayor of the city of Phoenix City, Alabama, and on behalf of the city council, do proclaim Saturday, October the 2nd, Hallelujah! 2021, is the day to honor and graduate the soul of the height, Cummings Home Celebration 2021. Phyllis F. Priya, founder, Phoenix City, Alabama. And it gives me great pleasure to present this proclamation on behalf of the council to this young lady here. I call her a go-getter. And uh, I remember when I was, uh, when I was uh, campaigning, this young lady was there. And she really uh, well known in this area. It gave me great pleasure to present this proclamation to you. We're still here at the Soul of the Height, and now I am talking to a community champion himself, <laughs> Wayne Hales. How oh, you yes, doing? You are. You are a champion in our community. Thank right. you so much. Oh, happy to be here. Man, this is a beautiful thing. Um, been here 31 years, didn't even know it was here. Yeah. Phyllis called and, and requested us to come down, and I'm here, and I'll tell you what, it's the country. <laughs> it's where you have some fun. I'm yes. looking over here at the Prius place. That was one of them holes in the walls. So uh, I was talking with Arthur Day. He said back in the day, he was all up in there. Yeah, that you know. was the hot spot. Yes, I, I said they yes. were partying like it was 1999. Okay. You know, people come in, you know, BYOB, <laughs> and they had a good time. They well, was here until midnight. So I it's heard, a, I heard. Yeah. You know, and say with me, Wayne, I did not know this was here in Phoenix City. Mm -hmm. Been here, yeah. I grew up in Phoenix City, and I was totally shocked, but it is beautiful to see how those that have lived here many years ago came back to celebrate and then bring another generation. Mm -hmm. And everybody here is like family. And you know what? It, this is what you call, it takes a village. Yes. And so this is a village. You got all those families, Alexander's, Abercrombie's, Golden, Priors, and more. They yes. come together and they haven't forgotten from whence they came. Absolutely. So, you know, um, Brother Dave was saying that they had a lot of professional ball players that are from here and all of them coming back just to enjoy each other, just just to go back and just think of those precious mem memories yeah. they had back in the day. Yeah. So it's a beautiful thing. Um, and I think 
I'm so happy that Miss Prier brought them all together. This Absolutely. is the first time they've had it. I yeah. guess they had it before, and now they're bringing it back. So yes. all kudos to her because she did an excellent job. And we're so proud of her. And mm. Mr. Helps himself said it so well. Congratulations to you, Phyllis Prier, and thank you for the way you give back into your community. And we appreciate you, too. Thank you for having me. Awesome. You're watching here on Street Talk. It has been a pleasure to be out here on location at the Soul of the Height Coming Home Celebration. It has been a community celebration. We've seen city council members. We've seen community leaders. We have seen a great camaraderie of people out here today with so much love and unity and strength in the community. As you can see, they have activities for children, families are sitting down. It is like I said, it's like a tailgate and it's just so much love out here. We want to say congratulations to Phyllis Prier on her service back to the community. I love the fact how she came home to pour back into her community and then wanted to bring us all together to share in love and unity and strength. What an amazing time and what's happening here in Phoenix City. Thank you for watching Street Talk with Loretta Rose on location in Phoenix City. You've been watching here on Bean TV.